Uh, good evening, I'm Andre Pfizer. It's been a minute since we've talked. I just want to share for a few minutes about changes. Uh, there's a lot of talk about vision and purpose and moving forth and new things. Uh, but I'm here to tell you that there is a difference between changes and transformation. A lot of us talk a lot of things on Facebook and we give a lot of philosophical comprehensives and they're really good. I may be one of them. Uh, but when you really look at life after we get through discussing what the changes should be, we're still at the same job, we're still in the same rhythm, uh, we're still at the same school, and we still do life the same. Uh, but psychologically and philosophically, we, we talk a lot on Facebook about making them difference, move, move, move. If you're in a relationship and you've been abused in it, you're going to hear change from a different perspective. You're not thinking transformation, you're thinking, how do I get out of this? And everybody can relate to being abused, whether uh, uh, physically or mentally or psychologically or spiritually. Uh, if you're at a dead-end job, you're going to want to have a change in a job. You're going to feel you're in the rut because you're at the same job and you have to go to another job and you get tired. If you're in a church and you get tired of church, I want to go to a, a church that's fast or church that got good music, has good music, I want to go to a relevant one. It's really not transformation, it's change. How do you know when changes are upon you? How do you know when it's time for vision? How do you know when your life is prepared? I, I don't know. I, I don't know about you. And I'm not going to hold you long. I, I knew when I experienced it that the changes I sought or uh, I, I got fed up in my present place uh, if you're in a room and you've put everything you could put in that room and you could no longer fit anything in that room anymore, you either need to get out of the room or knock out the wall. And sometimes vision and personal change and transformation is when you finally knock out the wall of your mind. And I don't know what all you think, uh, but it's like that. Uh, the nature of the change you seek will determine the nature of the commitment you have with it. Uh, some people are not seeking transformational changes or transformative changes. They're looking for just a different picture to put on the wall. But when vision comes, it's going to be beyond any theological desire you have. It's not about learning about more about the Bible. There comes a time when it's time for a visionary change. You're going to seek a shift in your entire life. How many of you have ever experienced the need to shift your entire lifetime? Not just add some knowledge to you while you still do the same rhythmic things. I still go to the same job. I still go to the same thing. But I mean a change. And when you really begin to deal with the kingdom and deal with spirituality, it's not theology. It's what do I need to be? After a while, you begin to feel something within you that needs to come out. A whole brand new you, a whole brand new rhythm of life. How many of you know what I'm talking about by a show of hands? So it just won't seem like I'm talking to myself. There comes a time you feel a whole new change. I need to change something. I feel I'm being called to something, a total different humanity, a, whole, a totally different functionality. And that's when you know that vision is upon your life. Because there's a big difference between change and transformation. Some people, I just want to change locations, but I still have my same perspective and my same mind and my same conveniences. Now, there are some of us, we don't mind having some changes if we don't have to pay for it. There are some of us, I don't mind if it happens. See, whenever you have vision, you go beyond this thought process of, that's something that I don't mind having. A lot of times when you begin to look at purpose and greatness, you will say to yourself, that's something I don't mind having. But when you begin to look at how you live in your convenience and your commitments, you find out that you're not really making those changes the way you said it. You, it was just something you didn't mind having. It's like this, I don't mind my yard being cut. I don't mind my yard being beautiful as long as I'm paying for somebody else to do it. But if I really loved my yard and I wanted my yard straight and beautiful, I would buy a lawnmower myself and I would cut it myself, I would water it, I would plant the flowers, I would beautify it. Because there is a difference between not minding 
something. I don't mind having it and you doing it yourself. How many of you know what I'm talking about? A lot of us, transformation or change is something we don't mind having. Oh, that sounds good. I don't mind having that. But when you see what you have to pay for to get it and what you have to transform yourself into to have it, sometimes the need of transformation stops the process because it costs more than we're willing to give, but we don't mind having it. See, the kingdom is not a dimension that will let you have it because you don't mind. You have to discover what will I pay for this thing because once I pay for it, I become something totally different. It's a difference between change and transformation. How you doing? How you doing? There is a difference between changes and transformation. Sometimes changes are something we don't mind having. I'm in a bad relation. I don't mind getting out and going right here. I'm in a bad job. I don't mind switching jobs. So you're watching the paper, reading the paper on the internet. Where do I go? Where do I go? Who has the better benefits? I don't mind having it. But now is the time to see what do I love? What is transformation? Transformation is when you finally have an invitation from the love of your soul and you say, I want to become this new thing and I will spend whatever time or whatever finance, I will give away my convenience for this new type of grind. Because some of us will grind in the gym, but we don't grind in our mind. We'll grind at work, but we won't grind in our consciousness. Hello, Vanessa, Daryl, Cynthia, Angela, Charlie, everybody who's on. Sean Davis, how you doing? bro. Daryl Braylon, how you doing? Looking forward to Orlando. Oh yeah. So there's a big difference between change and transformation. I want you to know that. There comes a time when something is going to arise in your heart beyond some theological understanding because great vision has nothing to do with theology. It has to do with where you're going. But when you discover where you're wanting to go in your life, it must change how you look at God. It must change how you look at God because you can't move in new places with the same old perceptions of God and the same old perceptions of yourself. You can't move in new places with the same familiar perspectives of God and the same familiar perspectives of yourself. There is a difference between change and transformation. Change is something I don't mind happening as long as it don't rip me from my convenience. Change is something that I don't mind happening. I don't mind if somebody else pays for it. But transformation is something you pay for. I'm going to buy the lawnmower. I'm going to beautify the yard. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to pay nobody to fix it for me. When you are ready for transformation, you will invest in it yourself. And you will beautify your mind yourself. And you will beautify the yard yourself. You're not going to leave the money to this guy to come cut the yard every other Wednesday. And you leave it in their hands. They've made your life their responsibility. Whenever you're ready for transformation, you will never leave your life in the hands of somebody else to fix. When you see, those are people who want trans, they want change, not transformation. When you want transformation, you will never leave your life in the hands of anybody else to fix. You will never leave your mind in somebody else's care to fix. You will never leave your faith in somebody else's uh, momentum to speak into. I don't need you to speak into me when I know what I want. Oh, uh, When you speak into me, it should only confirm what I've already bought. If you speak to me, it should only affirm what I've already thought. When you really, really want it, you take all the prophecy. There comes a time when you really tap into transformation. Prophecies for you become less and less. Why? Because you've captivated the mind of God and you need nobody else to come to talk to you because you've already captured the tape recorder and you hear it all in yourself. But people who don't mind somebody else giving it to them, you're going to always get the prophecies. You're going to always get the prophecies because you're commitment to it is low. You're going to always get the prophecies. You're going to always get it. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. You're going to hold your hand up. No, but when you've captivated transformation, you've already captivated God's mind. And before you know it, you're living what he speaks. And all of a sudden, the prophecies are just less and less and less and less and less and less. Oh, I still agree. I'm, I'm, I prophesy myself. But when you walk in what you've confirmed and what you know, your soul prophesies to you daily. See, the nature of the change will determine the nature of the commitment. 
Whatever change you're looking for will determines how you commit to the process of it. Some people just want a, re a relational change. We hear about God as it relates to relationship. And because we've had bad relationships, we hear God, maybe we'll get a new wife out of it. Maybe we'll get a new boyfriend out of it. Maybe you got a situation with your job. Maybe I'll get a new job out of it. But there comes a time where transformation will come and you would receive an invitation from your soul to become this person who you really are. And you'll say, let's do it. And after a while, all of your convenience, all of your convenience will drop. And there will be no barriers. And you're going to move into this new thing. Change is, how do you know when change is upon you? When I'm ready for everything. When finally, it's no more, I don't mind. When you are know it, the nature of the change will determine the nature of the, that's right. When it's transformation, you in, you're locked. When it's, I don't mind if it happened. See, when you know, I don't mind if it happened. See, when transformation comes, that'll be the first thing you see in the morning and the last thing you touch before you go to bed. When it's something you don't mind having, you'll reach for something different in the morning and something different when you go to bed. How you? And I'm going to let you go because I know you got to do your thing. How do I know I'm ready for transformation? Because whatever I'm wanting to become is the first thing I touch in the morning and the last thing I kiss at night. And I'm not talking about a lady or a man. It's the first thing I reach for in the morning. As a matter of fact, what I'm wanting to be transformed into will make me go to sleep and it will help me wake up in the morning. But when it's something I don't mind doing, I'll reach for any old thing in the morning and I'll reach for anything at night. And whatever you reach for in the morning determines what was in your heart and in your soul. It determines how your life is guided. People who want change don't mind if it happened, if I don't have to pay for it. But people who want transformation will buy it. They will buy it. And they're going to take care of it themselves. And they're going to fix it themselves. When you're transformed, you don't need nobody else's faith to work for you. I got my own. When you want to be transformed, I don't need your help. I got my own. You can assist me and encourage me, but I got it. I'm living from an inspiration, not motivation. If I don't mind having it, you constantly need to be convinced that it's good for you. You feel me? So changes are coming, guys. To some of you, changes are upon you. The first and the last, that's right. That's right, that's right, that's right. This thing has grown beyond, I don't mind having it. I don't mind what you want to eat. I don't know what you want. What you want, what you got to taste for? I don't know, guys, what you got to taste for? No, 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 no. Transformation is what a lot of people don't want because you pay for that. You pay for transformation. You invest for that because you're going to make it happen. Peace.